Networking Secret. My name is Fernanda. I am so excited to be back here today for day number three. And today I am super excited because we're going to be sharing with you really what is the difference, what is the one thing that successful people do that separates them from the rest. So if you want to learn this, please stay connected today. Today is going to be awesome. Also happening today, we're going to be doing a Q&A. So if you have had any questions that we have not addressed from Wednesday or from Thursday, make sure that you type them in the chat today or we may bring you on screen so you can ask the question directly to John. Please make sure that if you have any questions, no matter how uh, weird it may sound or how insignificant you may think it, it may be, it may help you and somebody else as well. And so make sure that you do ask your questions today. And we're going to be doing the hot seat. So if anyone wants to participate or anyone wants to volunteer, if everyone wants to be the candidate for the hot seat, please let me know, please let us know, send me a message or put it in the chat. That way we can uh, select a happy winner of the hot seat. And last but not least, talking about winners, we are going to select a winner for our $1,000 group coaching program today. And the winner is someone who has shown every single day, shown up every single day, who has done the homework, who has been engaging, who has really done the work to make sure that this event was transformational and continues to be transformational for all of you. And so everything that we have covered today is just the beginning. It really comes from taking action. It really comes from doing the daily actions that a difference in the results come to show. And of course, a change in your mindset, which is 95% of the results. All right, other announcements for today. Distractions, if you have any distractions. Uh, James Fomby, thank you so much. We are so grateful that you are part of this group as well. Super, super happy to have you. Let us know where you're calling from. If you're calling from anywhere in the world, I would love to know when we are able to connect. We're here in Gilbert, Arizona today, actually driving to Sedona tonight. So if you've ever been to Sedona, you know that it's a very amazing place, peaceful, beautiful, and a wonderful place for wellness and relaxation. So we'll be there uh, starting tonight. Oklahoma, I see your brother got married in Sedona. What a beautiful place to get married. It can, I can't think of any more perfect place. California, New York, Charlotte, Pennsylvania. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, 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 great. So any other announcements that we have for today, we'll go for about 45 minutes to an hour. Please be patient with us. We have a lot to cover, so we'll be uh, doing our best to just move through the day as well. Recordings are in YouTube and Facebook. They will be up for about a week. So if you want to catch the replays, if you want to watch a lesson over and, <clears throat> sorry, over and over again, make sure that you take advantage of the recordings before they come down. And then homework, if you turned in your homework, Congratulations, and I want to acknowledge you right now because you took action. I had a private message from someone, I'm not going to say who, they said the, doing the homework alone uh, had a significant breakthrough and transformation in their mindset. And just by doing the homework alone, they were taking action that they had not taken action before. And so doing something like this, doing an, an exercise that you normally don't sit down and take the time to go through can have a profound uh, effect in you because you don't normally go and ask yourself those questions. You don't normally go and take the time to really see how you're doing and what are those people. And we don't take the time to build and construct our, our future. A lot of us kind of build, live by default. And so these exercises are designed to make you kind of go through and really, really design your life how you want it to be, not by default, but by design. So that's what they're designed to do. If you still haven't done it, please do it. This is really for you. This is for you. So please do the exercises that we provided in the, in the workbook and also the homework. Uh, if you still see Abby, I don't know if there is any other Abbies in the chat, but if you still see Abby, make sure that you change your name. I don't think I see any one right now, but if you do, please change your name. Last but not least, I want to share with you guys because what a perfect timing that is. We received this in the chat, in the chat, in the mail, 
uh, just this week. This is an LA style magazine of the most influential issue. All right. I want you guys to check this out. Um, I mean, people like Les Brown, people like um, Patty Stanger, people like Akon in the cover, and John Tolerico is right here. And his article is on infinite possibilities, guys. And this is just an example of the possibilities that are out there. Because if someone like John is able to be in this issue as the most influential with such people, you guys can do it too. You guys can do anything that you guys desire, decide to do, but you gotta be intentional. And that's what the homework and that's what events like this and that's what communities like the Million in You does for you. So I wanted to share this with you because I'm excited, I'm proud. This is huge, huge. And it's also, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this or not, John, but actually a lot, out of all the people that are in this uh, edition issue, I think John was the one who found like five of these influential people for the producer of the magazine. So he helped the producer connect to five of these people so they could interview them and be in this issue. So I don't know if I was supposed to say that or not, but he made that happen. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's enough of me just rambling. Uh, without further ado, John Talarico, day number three, take it away. All righty, thank you, Fernanda. Uh, actually, I think it was three or four people, but yes, you're allowed to say that. And that is what's possible when you guys build a powerful network of people. And then you start to use your network to help other people and do great around the world. I want to thank all of you. I know it's Friday night. Uh, most of you are back on the East Coast, I see. Uh, even some people over in Europe. I know it's very late for you. I want to thank you uh, because I know you have choices. And I appreciate you showing up here tonight on a Friday night. And for those of you who can't be here tonight on the replay, I just want to say a special hello to you. Uh, make sure you watch all three days. They've been very powerful and impactful. Today, we're going to continue with what we discussed yesterday and the day before. And as we met on Wednesday, I promised you one thing, that by Friday, you were going to have a plan, a blueprint to really take charge of your life, to really build that powerful network that we were going to pull back the curtain on how you can build any kind of connection, relationship, partnership that you want to do. Just a brief overcap of day one, we talked about really to build that powerful network. We have to do something different than we've ever done before. And guess what? It wasn't about the doing. It was about the thinking. We talked about needing to think differently rather than do and to lay the foundation for whatever it is that we wanted. We had to think differently than we've ever done before to get new results. We talked about understanding paradigms and these mental habits and how they control our life. We touched on really understanding our, on a very basic level, our mind and how our habitual habits have gotten us the results up until now. We went over how to use our six powerful, powerful higher mental faculties, our imagination, intuition, reason, memory, will, and our perception to start to now think about what is it that we really want out of life? Not what we think we can get, but what is it that we truly, really want? What kind of network do we want to build? What kind of income goals do we want? Financial freedom, what kind of joy, happiness, whatever you want, you have to have a goal. And remember, the only prerequisite for his goal, a goal is you have to want it. The purpose of a goal is not to get something, right? It's to cause you to grow. It's to bring out of you something that you never even thought was there. And so we talked about setting C-type goals. I shared with you briefly a little bit about what I do and who I am and why I do what I do. And for those of you who maybe haven't heard the first two days, uh, you know, I like to say that I am a results coach because at the end of the day, that's what people come to us for. They come to get results. And so we deliver results for our clients who are willing to be coachable, to be teachable, and to try it a different way and to take massive action, and to be accountable and responsible. And so <clears throat> we've got clients all over the world right now. I've been teaching people how to build successful networks uh, for uh, over a decade. Uh, some of my clients include some of the top industry leaders in the world in their different various fields, millionaires, billionaires, celebrities. But most importantly, the hundreds and hundreds of clients just like you and I, just you know, people who want to make a difference in the world. And so I want to appreciate you for being here. We then talked about on day number two, actually on, on day one, we started now then building a foundation, right? I said, you need three core things. You need to connect to the right kind of thinking. Then after you do that, now you can connect to the right kind of goal, knowing that you've been playing small, right? Most people, if they have any goals at all, shoot too low. We talked about setting a goal, something that you really, truly, really want. And then the third thing was, how do we connect to that powerful network? How can we connect to anybody that we want on the planet? 
And I shared with you, I recently did my TEDx talk where I talked about that and shared that I believe that you're only one or two people away from connecting to anyone in the world. I know that everyone hears the whole six degrees of separation, but I even shared in my TEDx talk how that is not true. And I actually proved it uh, through several different uh, um, examples. And then we talked about the seven steps you need to do and to follow. And I'll touch on them very briefly in a second here to connect to anyone. Day number two was all about building an unstoppable self-image, self-confidence, knowing that when the minute we decide that we're going to go after something we truly want, we're going to what run dead smack into that terror barrier. And how do we bust through that thing? How do we develop the courage, the self-image, and the strength to blast through? When all the demons of doubt, I like to call them, are sitting there telling us why things can't be done. We need to focus on why they can be done, what we want, not what we don't want. And then I share with you some ways that we can actually program ourselves for success, just like uh, autopilot on an airplane, right? You can actually program yourself by doing certain things for success. I gave you a great book to read, uh, one that I go to all the time. I keep it right on my desk, Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. And then today, actually last night, we also shared an opportunity to become part of our family, to join us for at least six months. And I want to say, say a special thank you to Anne Monroe, who took action last night, and also to Kimberly Harden. Welcome to the Million and You family. We are super excited to have you. Like I said, you're going to need a telescope to look back in six months to see where you were. And so we shared an opportunity, an opportunity that we know will get you what you want out of life. We invite you to take advantage of that opportunity. And so we'll touch on that a little bit briefly. But really, I want to focus today and right now on decision and taking action. Decision and taking action. So again, huge shout out to Anne and Kimberly. Welcome. And I know a lot more of you are going to be joining us very soon. So uh, we can't wait. It's what we love to do. Our company is called The Million and You, and we help people get from where they are to where they want to be using these same strategies and techniques and tools that we've been sharing here this week. And so without delay, let me just now, I put together you guys and also Fernanda said, we're going to also do a hot seat today. I, I, we had a great feedback yesterday when Kimberly was brought up on stage and asked about some things to do with how to, how to connect and network with people. So we'll do that again today if you have any questions about that. Um, and I just see in the chat, someone saying the uh, workbook. So there, Fernanda, if you could just help Bernice out on that, please. Um, and yeah, before I forget, don't forget to print out your workbook inside of there, exactly what we've been talking about these last three days. I promise you, if you implement the stuff in that workbook, your business will take off. It'll skyrocket. You will be, be able to build and create a very powerful network. So now let me talk today briefly, and then we'll open it up for a hot seat. We'll open it up for Q&A. If you guys have any questions about networking, what you can uh, do to help improve your network, if you have any questions about your business, please, uh, we'll set, take some time at the end to answer those questions. All right. I want to talk now about what my dear friend and mentor, Bob Ta Proctor, talk to me about. He said, John, you need to be 100% responsible for the results in your life and for everything in your life. And he then told me, John, responsibility is the price for greatness. It's about accepting full responsibility for where you're at and then where you want to go. And so that's what today is about. And when you do that, when you accept responsibility, when you follow the steps I've laid out, those seven steps to build a powerful network, when you change your thinking, to start working on reprogramming and overriding those old paradigms, I shared with you what's possible. An amazing network. I shared my brief story. For those of you who didn't, don't know, I grew up in a very small town, blue collar town in Michigan, Flint, Michigan. No connections. Lucky to connect. To, I was the last person that should have been able to connect to anyone. I was fired from every job I ever had. Following the things I've been teaching here this week, I've been able to build an absolutely amazing uh, network of people all over the world. Last night, one of the top people in the personal development self-improvement field, Sonia Ricotti. She was even in the class with us last night. Onyx Segal, you see me there sitting on an interview on the Fighting Entrepreneur podcast. He sold $350 million online. Akon sold 50 million records. Shah Rukh Khan, one of the top 50 people in the world by Time Magazine. Les Brown, the greatest motivator of our time. The greatest teacher on human success and potential, Bob Proctor. Damon John and been at, uh, Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Trudeau and Tobago. And there up on top are the billionaire owners of one of the clubs over in England. And uh, that's what's possible. Uh, and then two of my greatest, the greatest, right? 
uh, relationships I have are with my two children, Jana Marie and Michele. And so um, that's what's possible. And then guess what? This just doesn't work for business. It works for your personal life as well. There is a nice silhouette picture of my beautiful fiance, Fernanda. You guys just got to see her every day this week. And so I'm truly blessed. And each day I wake up fired up and inspired. And that's what I want for all of you. Now, what is success? And I know that everyone has their own definition, but it really success is, uh, it's just doing what you love. If you look at the de definition of success, it's a favorable or desired outcome. Also the attainment of wealth, favor, or eminence. Another definition is it's happiness derived from what? Good relationships. Good relationships. I share with you on Wednesday, the key. The key to everything is what? Relationships, building connections. We're all in this together. Happiness derived from good relationships and achieving personal goals. We're all here to push each other and help each other out. Supply is infinite and unlimited. We touch briefly on if we're going to set goals, we better know who we are. And who are you? I share with you who you are. You are pure perfection created in God's image, unstoppable, undeniable, unlimited in what you can do, be, and have. And when you understand that everything works by law, you can have everything. Goal achievement is a process. Success is a system. So for me, I want to make sure that I told you by today, I want you guys to ignite that burning desire inside of you and really start to use your imagination. We encourage you the other day to use your imagination to get emotionally involved in what is it that you truly, really want? Not what you think you can get, not what anyone else wants for you, but what is it that you really want? And I encourage you to start to think again, start to dream again. And as we start to reignite that burning desire, we have our own definition of success. I believe it's just doing what you love with a burning desire and an attitude that creates change in your life and in the world. What is attitude? Attitude is just, it's like a cake mix. It's a composite of your thoughts, of your feelings and your actions. And as we learned on Wednesday, you can think your way into new results in your life when you start to understand how powerful your mind is. And then you understand and develop the awareness to know what are paradigms and why you've achieved the results up until now. So that's what I believe it is. It's just doing what you love. And so I told you on Wednesday, by the end of the week, I'm gonna share with you that you have to think differently. To get new results, you have to think differently. And so <clears throat> I love this quote by Emerson, the mind once stretched by a new idea never returns to its original dimension. And so this week we've tried to share with you and I've tried to guide you into some new information because guess what? It's, it's once the mind entertains an idea, once you get excited and get that burning desire about what you truly really want, don't worry about how it's gonna happen, a shift happens start feeling different, right? Things start to happen. You get phone calls. I got a, I was on with a client of ours today. I'm not going to use her name, but within a matter of weeks, she went from researching and getting emails for something that she wanted to expand her, her business to speaking of the mayor of the town. How? Because she just took action. She just blew past the gatekeeper. And so she's got an appointment with the mayor in a couple of weeks. And that's what's possible when you start to develop your mind. We touched on as I mentioned, those seven steps to connect to anyone. Briefly, for those of you who didn't hear, watch the replays, but I went through them step by step. Make a decision who you want to meet. Make a list of 10 people. Decide why do you want to meet them. Make sure you have a reason. Do your research, likes, dislikes, all kinds of stuff about the person that you can find out. Find out about the gatekeeper, or as I like to say, the gatekeepers, right? There's several. The inner circle, the outer circle. Step number four was... This, for me, is the difference maker. It is doing those little things for big connections. And I shared some examples of the relationships I've been able to, to build because of that. Step number five is how do we make the approach? You heard, just heard one of our clients, she just went direct. Forget all this other stuff. I'm going direct. And actually, she shared with me, she actually went through the one person removed, right? The, the secretary. And then, you know, their job is to keep you out. She said, I'm not going to sit back and I'm not going to let anyone decide my future. I'm going to keep, keep digging until I find the email and I'm going to email the mayor direct. And boom, there you have it. Meeting set. Step number six, which leads me into that, right? Persistence. Don't give up. Hold the vision of what you truly want in your mind, knowing that it's already done once you think it, and then go out and do things in a certain way. And you will get the results you want. And then once you develop that relationship, you want to maintain that. Make sure you continue to build that friendship. Most of the people that you saw when I shared in the beginning, they're all in my phone. 
I call them direct, but most of them actually have become very dear friends. And that's what's possible. So those are the seven steps that we went over, right? Maintain. I'll go back to what I first started with on Wednesday. And I want you to continue to ask yourself this question. What do you want? First thing I'll ask you, you get in that hot seat, what do you want? And what I usually find is we need to get really laser focused as we start to dive deeper into getting rid of that limiting belief about what you think is possible, then a whole new world starts to appear to you and you can start to get that burning desire about what you truly really want. As I said earlier, want is the only prerequisite for making a decision. Successful people, Fernandez shared, what is the one thing that they do other people don't do? They make decisions very quickly. I love this quote. If you, most of you, I'm sure have read, Actually, before I get to that, I talked yesterday about what do, you, what do you believe that you're capable of? We have to get you to believe that you're capable of anything. And so as you write out that C-type goal, that's why I shared with you, that terror barrier is going to come into play. You're going to start to hear from, I call it the committee, right? It's going to start to say James and Channing and all this. Who do you think you are? You don't have any experience. You don't have the connections. You don't have the context. How are you going to compete against it? all this noise, negativity, and nonsense? But you know. Because why? Because now you started to open your mind and think differently, that nothing can stop you, that you live your life from the inside out, that you control your personal economy, and you only needed to know those two things, right? Where you are and where you want to go. You have to have a goal because that goal is just like a radio station. I shared this example. It has a frequency, a vibration. It's already there. It's just waiting for you, waiting for you to make a decision. All about decisions. Everything you do, make a decision. In each moment, you decide what to think, positive or negative. We use our reasoning factor, right? One of our six spiritual gifts, our God-given higher mental faculties, to decide. What are we going to do? Well, I love this uh, quote section in Chapter 8 of uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Hill said, analysis of over several hundred people who had accumulated fortunes well beyond the million-dollar mark. This is back in the 1930s. Disclosed the fact that every one of them, every single one of them, had the habit of reaching decisions promptly, and of changing these decisions slowly, if and when they were changed at all. People who fail to accumulate money, without exception, people who fail to build powerful networks, without exception, have the habit of, habit of what? Reaching decisions, if they ever reach decisions, very slowly, and changing these decisions quickly and often. Always going around asking everyone else, what do you think I should do? What do you think I should do? And so congratulations to Kimberly and Ann for actually making that quick decision, knowing that you're not going to wait, but you're ready. You're hungry, right? You're ready to go from good to greatness. So it's time to change our program. Time to change the program. In order to do that, we have to master the paradigm. We have to master these things because they've been running our life. 96 to 98% of what we do already programmed in. We may think, I used to think that I was completely in charge, but guess what? I would do things, I attend different classes, go to different seminars, buy different books. Short changes, quick, excited, inspiration, we quickly fade. Was not creating permanent change. Now, one thing I want to share with all of you is you don't need any more information. There's no new information out there anyway. Everything's already here, but you don't need any more information. What you need is a decision to go after what you truly, really want. What you need is the right understanding of the information that can transform and change your life. That information is developing the awareness to master what we call the paradigms, a set of mental habits, which are habitual. And this is a huge problem for almost everyone, no matter how hard you try. If you don't deal with the paradigm, guess what happens? Your income stays the same. Your network stays the same. Your relationships stay the same. And actually, they usually will probably get a little bit worse. If you don't master these paradigms today, I can guarantee you, in six months from now, nine months, a year from now, you know, we're going to keep spreading our message around the world and helping people achieve their dreams and goals. But if you don't master the paradigm, you just be here again. And so this week has been about understanding how to override and to do exactly that. Now, the paradigm, it controls your results in almost every area of your life. Think about your income. If your goal and your, and your desire, burning desire is to earn a quarter of a million or a million dollars a year, and you're earning 50,000, you're not earning that million because you don't know how to earn it. It's your paradigm is telling you you're only capable of earning $50,000. Sure, you may jump up a little bit, but guess what happens? 
The next year, it'll probably go right back to around that $50,000 mark. Your use of time. Look at what you're doing each day and ask yourself, is this really going to get me closer to my goal and dream? Controls your perception, how you look at things, right? Are we, are we allowing outside circumstances, conditions in our environment to cause us to react to life? Your effectiveness? Things like if you want to even, let's just take a coaching business, for example, right? Oh, well, I need some kind of certificates on my wall. How am I going to get clients? Um, I don't have any experience. All of this it doesn't make you a very effective human being when you start to listen to that nonsense. And even your creativity, your discipline, and your relationships. And then what we shared yesterday, right? Your self-image. That false self-image that's been created from the paradigm that tells you all kinds of nonsense. And so that's why I was so happy when I finally learned that I could actually create the self-image that I wanted of the person I wish to become. And I could actually live each day from that person. Now, there are only two reasons why your income's not changing. Two reasons. And you know what those are? The paradigm, as I just mentioned. Second one is you won't ask for help and then follow directions. You won't ask for help and follow directions. We have, uh, I get sometimes clients or they'll get on a call with me and ask, uh, you know, can you guarantee me that this is going to work? And I said, I can guarantee you that if you do exactly what I say, I promise you, you will get the results that you desire, but you have to do the work. What was the first slide I shared tonight? Responsibility. You saw Bob right there, right? The price of greatness, accepting and being accountable for everything, all your results. But the great news is, you're also responsible and accountable for all the success that you achieve. Now, two ways, only two ways. I have never known anyone who has been able to change the paradigm without one of these ways, right? Without constant space repetition and elite level coaching or an emotional impact. An emotional impact is something that's usually negative. 9-11, COVID, those were a negative events. We want to focus on that constant space repetition. Now, I don't know anyone who's been able to do it alone. I have coaches. I know most all successful people all have coaches, right? So constant repetition, studying the same material over and over again. All of our clients, you know what they do? They listen to the same video, the same lesson, twice a day, every day for two weeks at a time. Why? We have to override the programming. We have to change the paradigm. And so as we're learning about new information, we're able to override the old programming and start, guess what happens? We start to think differently. We start to feel differently. And then we start to attract things in our life differently. Now, I love this quote by Kenneth Blanchard, and I'm going to get more involved and engaged with you guys in just a second. I just wanted to get through this fairly quickly, and then we're going to have a much more interactive dialogue. But Kenneth Blanchard says there's a difference between interest and commitment. When you're interested in something, you only do it when it's convenient. And when you're committed to something, you accept no excuses, only results. How many of you would agree with that in the chat? Let me know. How many of you would agree that when you have an interest in something, you'll always find a way, right? You'll always come up with excuses and find a way to do whatever you want, to get whatever you want. Everyone, I see 100% in there. <clears throat> when you're committed, you don't allow anything to stop you. Absolutely nothing will take you off track. And sometimes what happens, friends and family members, they start to, to disappear and they fall by the wayside. Another paradigm is we start to feel guilty for that. But guess what? You're on a mission. This is your movie. You're the star, writer, producer, and director of this show. And if people don't want to come along for the ride, the train is leaving the station, right? The clock is ticking. Enough is enough already. We have to get moving. And so we want to be committed, committed to our goals and dreams. Now, I talked about, again, what's the one thing holding you back? What is holding you back? Whatever you wrote down is your C-type goal. What's holding you back? Are you not clear on what you truly, really want? It's what I find a lot of people are not very clear because they don't take the time to think. We've been so programmed not to think, right? We continue to get numbed out of life. Social media, TikTok, all this stuff, TV, right? Binging out on Netflix. We never, you ever hear anyone say, I'm binging out on personal development this weekend? Never. Is it your network and environment? You don't have the right connections. Is that holding you back? Is it your belief and mindset? To think that somehow you're just waiting for uh, and hoping for your luck to change. I don't believe in luck. Luck's a word that other people invented to, because they can't explain how things work. Success is a system. All works by law. 95% mindset and 5% strategy. And when you let go of the how, and you focus on <clears throat> the belief that it's already done, and then do things in a certain way, you'll achieve the results that you want. 
or maybe some of you don't have, you need the accountability. You tell yourself that you're going to do it, but then guess what happens? You find yourself getting distracted. You start to procrastinate. You start to get stuck. You start to beat yourself up. And that vicious cycle, cycle keeps you in the same place that you were a few months ago, a year from now, a decade ago. And so nothing really truly changes. And so then we shared with you an opportunity to work with me and what it would be like. Our clients have earned on over $50 million in sales. And I've been blessed to be mentored by two of the greats, two of the legends, Bob Proctor and Les Brown. I was fortunate enough to have Bob teach me and mentor me how I could change my life by changing my thinking. Les Brown helped me get very clear on what it is that I want and helped me to share my message with the world. And so <clears throat> I want to invite you to join part of our, uh, to become part of our program, right? I said yesterday, you have two options. You can continue to go on your own trial and error, see what works, maybe try some other things, and um, maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. Or we can do this together, right? We can do this together where I can work with you for six months is what we do. And I would love to help you dive deeper into what we discussed here this week. I'd love to help you set and accomplish your C-type goal. And the program, uh, great question, Bernice. I have open enrollment because you know why, Bernice? I would never come to you and say, Bernice, I need you to put off your goal and dream until uh, August 1st or September 1st. We have open enrollment. Why? Because your people need you, Bernice. They need you. They need what you have. We call it the million in you. It's that one unique thing, Bernice, that you've been gifted better than anyone else on the planet that you do. And our mission is to help you bring it out so that you can transform and change your life. And then guess what happens? You start to change the lives of those around you, your community, your city, your state, and ultimately what? Ultimately the world, Bernice. And so we're always open. Uh, we meet every week as a group. And then as a bonus, for those of you who take action this week, I told you I'm going to get on a call with you. I don't have one-on-one -on -one clients, but I'll get on a call with you once a month for six months. And we'll make sure that you are moving and achieving quantum leaps in your income, in your life, in your relationships, building that powerful network. I also wanted to invite you, for those who took action, to a very special event that I'm doing September 10th in person. It's our first event ever. And Les Brown is going to be the guest speaker. It's called Breakthrough. We're going to be doing that in Atlanta, Georgia. And for those of you who take action, I'll, I'll give you two tickets to that. That's our diamond package. You're going to have the opportunity to meet and have lunch with Les Brown and myself and answer any kind of questions. Now, <clears throat> I also talked about, let's do a little bit of more interaction today, Fernando, right? Let's have a hot seat. Let's answer some questions. Let's have some fun, you guys. Let's have a lot of fun because you know what? Life is meant to be enjoyed. You want to take it serious, but you also want to have fun. And so <clears throat> I see we got a lot of people. Hello to our friends over on Facebook as well watching. Fernanda, maybe you guys and you and Abby can check for questions over there. Um, LS says, yes. my husband already so, thinks. Let me go ahead, Fernanda. I just want to say, if you guys have any questions, please make sure that now is the time. Please put them in the chat or raise your virtual hand. If you don't know how to raise your virtual hand either in the reactions or the participants tab. Somewhere in there, you should find the button that says raise my hand. So um, go ahead, John, sorry. No problem. LS uh, had a question. She says her husband already thinks I spent all my time learning and growing in the week. One week it will boost me that much further. Um, absolutely, LS. Uh, one piece of information can transform and change anything. I have clients because I made them one introduction has changed its trajectory of their whole life. I introduced clients to people like Damon John, to Les Brown, to Bob Proctor, and they've gone on to make millions of dollars. And so you just never know. That's why I always say, you never know who you're gonna meet. When I'm on an airplane, you always wanna to speak to the person sitting next to you. You never know that, but you guess what? God, the universe, whatever you wanna call it, will only give you what you're looking for. That's why we need that clarity. So the first thing that we do when we work together is, we spend two weeks on a worthy ideal. What is it that you truly, really want? Because most people settle for a whole lot less than they truly want, and they believe that they're capable of achieving. All right. Channing, so we have a go ahead, Fernanda. Question in the chat uh, from Channing. How do you break from, uh, through brain fog? The brain fog, the infamous fog. Uh, Channing, I believe the brain fog is a paradigm. It keeps you stuck. When you get clear, I know we spoke earlier, but when you get very clear on what you truly, really want, the fog lifts. Why? Because you know that you're going all in, that you're willing to die for what you truly want because you're dying for what you don't want right now. 
So when you get that burning desire, that comes with knowing exactly what you want on a grand scale. Don't worry about how it's going to happen. God fills in the details. But when you get clear on what you truly really want, guess what happens? You become laser focused. You become disciplined. You become responsible 100% for what you're doing each and every day. And then you become accountable. One other thing that we do, and I'll just touch on this brief, we also have an accountability group. We're going to actually do something a little bit different than we've been doing. We're going to move our accountability group over to my personal WhatsApp. So you do have access to me. Uh, it's a check-in because why? I know I can get you the results you want if you just do things in a certain way. My job as a coach, and I tell all my clients this, is to be 100% responsible to you, to give you all the information I know that's been given to me by the greatest teacher on human success and potential, Bob Proctor, uh, over the last 60 years that I know will transform and change your life. You want to build a powerful network? Not a problem. You want to set amazing C-type goals and accomplish them? You want to earn a million dollars? Not a problem. You want to meet Oprah, Elon Musk? Not a problem. All this can be done. And so back to your question, Channing. I believe when you are laser focused and crystal clear on that C-type goal, and that's why I have everyone write it out in a very specific way. I'm so happy and grateful. I know we talked to you just completed, I believe, Think and Grow Rich reading that book. And Napoleon Hill says the very exact same thing. He gives you the answer of how to think and grow rich. Pick an exact amount of money that you want to earn and put a date to it when you want to earn it by. What are you willing to give up in return? What are you willing to give up in return to clear that brain fog, Channing? Are you willing to write down, to spend some time without distractions to say, this is what I truly, really want. I want a $5 million business. I want uh, whatever you want. And I want it by this date. And I'm willing to do this to get it. I'm willing to be open to new ideas and new possibilities, building the right kind of relationships, attracting into my life, the right kind of people to make that happen. And I think when you do that, you will find there's no time for fog. The, the fog will lift and you'll see nothing but clear, smooth sailing, sunshine, sunshine and sunlight. Uh, can I add a couple of things, uh, Channing? I think just from, this is personal experience only, meditation. Um, I don't know if you meditate or not, but if you meditate with that intention of clarity, getting clear on whatever it is that you're feeling the fog, I think that helps as well. Before you meditate, asking the intention of the meditation to be that, that helps. And how you think and what you think also has an impact, right? And so if you constantly think, that you have brain fog, then you're gonna constantly get reassured that you do have brain fog by things or whatever things that are that are happening around you that are reassuring you, right? And so if you instead say, okay, well, this is how I feel, but this is what I want. And you start reassuring yourself and affirming yourself that you're clear, that you're clear, that you're clear constantly, 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 you're going to focus more of your energy on what you want instead of what you don't want. So I hope that helps. <clears throat> Great. Um, um, I, uh, James had a question. He had sure, his Fernanda. hand raised. James, can you unmute, unmute yourself, please? James, how are you doing? Great to see you, sir. Hey, I'm unmuted. There you go. How are you doing, James? I'm doing great. I, I just wanted to say I was grateful to be part of this group and, um, I didn't really have a question. Uh, mm -hmm. I just really enjoyed these three days of this class and just Thank so you, grateful James. to be here. Mm -hmm. I actually added another customer to my business today and just using a lot of the techniques and stuff you're talking about. Just, you know, I started working on my mindset back in October mm -hmm. and I had gone through this phase of my business where I had 80 different contacts and no sell. And after going through the mindset work, I talked to like three business owners and sold all three of them. And wow. I just really wow. believe in this stuff. And great. I wasn't even trying to sell this guy today. He just met me and asked what I did. And he said, Hey, I want that. <laughs> that's uh, that's great, James. And, and really that's how easy it can be. I shared yes. yesterday. I love one of my favorite authors, Neville Goddard, right? He talks about the effortless way. It can be that easy, James, attraction marketing, right? Because yeah. um, when you get clear and you start to work on the mindset, you start to see the results, James. Congratulations. Immediately, yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. Great to see a lot of people here. I want to uh, actually, Fernanda, just thank a lot of people. I see they've been here all three days. Lakshman and Hope, great to see you as well. Channing and Brittany and Ann and uh, Lakeisha and Leroya, of course, Renata, Sean and Bernice. Uh, 
uh, and LS as well as you, James, really, I thank you for being here all three days. Uh, we as a company really wanted to deliver you guys the right information that we know because we use it with our clients all the times will really catapult your life and your income and your relationships to what it is that you truly, really desire. Thanks, uh, James. We have another, sorry, we have another question in the chat uh, by Renata. Do you okay. want to unmute yourself or do you want to? Bring Renata up, Fernanda. Let's just, let's get her up here. Let's move her up here. Okay, let me see. Can you unmute yourself, Renata? How are you doing, Renata? Can you hear me? Yes, I'm I can. good. Uh, so I started working with LMM, uh, multi marketing, and I'm trying to build my own team, but it's got extremely slow. Like I always hear yes. no and no and no. Okay. What would you recommend? Uh, great question, Renata. Your internet's a little also slow. It's reflecting that slow MLM energy, right? So you're, uh, you <laughs> kind of, uh, but I saw you type the question and it's a great question, Renata. We have a lot of clients that do network marketing. So the first thing I would, I would say to you is, Renata, first of all, is, that what you is this what you truly really want to do? I'm going to tell you right now, Renata, I don't know you. We've never spoken, correct? We've never spoken before, Correct. Yes, I do. Right. Uh, and so if this is what you truly, really want to do, mm -hmm. Renata, then you have to get emotionally involved mm -hmm. in, in your goal. And the first thing I would say is... That's the first time. Right, correct. Right. Uh, your internet's a little bit... Um, uh, it's not so uh, good, Renata. I'm going to just mute you because it's kind of uh, given us a bad echo. All right. <clears throat> so what I would say, Renata, first thing that we would do as we work together, all right, Renata, if this is what you truly love to do, let's set a goal. And now I know from a lot of friends okay. in network marketing, Bob Proctor was in, uh, deeply involved in network marketing. His wife, Linda, still does it to this day, is that you have to have a goal, Renata. So what goal are you going after right now? What's your goal? Go ahead and unmute yourself. I'm trying to build a team of at least three to 4,000 people. Okay, so that's good enough for now. Right? And you can stop right there. I already see, you don't have any problems. There's some successful. challenges. Right, you're already successful, Renata. So let's take that off the table. What you wanna do, and I know from network marketing, there are certain ranks, right? Executive diamond, diamond, whatever that is, Renata. I would set your goal and pick one of those ranks and write it out on a piece of paper. Stop worrying about how you got to build this team. Focus on the end result. The end result is you want to be executive diamond, right? With your company or whatever that rank is, the top rank, right? Right, all right. So I am so happy and grateful now that I'm just going to say executive diamond. I don't know with your company, Renata, what that one of those top levels is, but let's go for the top, Renata. Why do we want to waste our time worrying about three to five people? Let's focus on the bigger goal. Let's go after what you truly, really want. I'm so happy and grateful now by, uh, let's say a year from now, I am an executive diamond member with so-and-so company, helping impact and change people's lives. When you focus on that, Renata, now you start to get a little bit more excited and guess what happens? You're gonna feel more confident and more comfortable. And then each day, start to ask yourself, okay, what are two or three things I can do differently? Because whatever you're doing right now, Renata, is not working, correct? It's not working, right? And so I believe that you have a mindset of, oh God, I'm gonna get another no, even before you start. And I think you're already, you're dead in the water. You're already dead because you've gotten so many no's and you're starting to question yourself, did I make the right decision? How, when, how am I ever gonna get clients? How am I ever gonna build a team? And so I think if you shift your focus, sorry, shift your focus, Renata, to that end goal, and start to live from that place. A person who has that rank in your company, they do things in a very specific way every day. And then I would say to you, okay, Renata, if I were to come over to your house today, let's take a look at what, what did you do today? How many people did you reach out to? Put in, how many people did you reach out to today, Renata? One? 
I, uh, you're uh, muted. I mute you. Go ahead. How many? Go ahead. I don't mute yourself. Twelve. Okay, twelve people. And did how many? What did we get from those twelve? Or not? Twelve. And what did they say? Maybe we have to think about it. We're gonna get back to you too. because okay. I usually set the date. Like you know, because people are gonna say I'm gonna get back to you, and then you're waiting for two three weeks. So I yes. usually say when. So I have one tomorrow, one Sunday. Let's see okay. what happens. All right. So the important thing with you're building a business, especially network marketing, it's all in the numbers. So I would say that 12, we want up that to at least 50 a day. We're not, I don't know how you're reaching out to them. If you're just using personal friends and contacts, but we need to one, increase the number. Number two, if you got 12 people and you got 12 no's or we need to think about it, then ask yourself, I didn't do a good enough job explaining not the business, but the opportunity. Network marketing isn't about the business. It's about an opportunity of a lifestyle. It's about the financial freedom of creating residual income, right? So they can have the wealth. You have a company that provides products and an opportunity that allows them to do that. And so there are certain things that you can say and do. Well, and I, I face it all the time, Renata, when people, when we talk to them about it coming in with our six month coaching, well, I need to think about it. Well, what is there to think about? Really, you can say this to them. You can think about it all you want, but have you been getting the results up until now? I can guarantee you haven't. I can guarantee you in six months or a year from now, you're going to still be thinking about it. And that's okay because I'm going to go keep helping to change the world. And so how much longer do you want to keep thinking about your goals and dreams and not actually living them? And so you can be a little more empowering and we have something that's called, and it's a training that we learned is you want to walk them down a path, Renata, to agreement. You want to get them to agree that this is an opportunity that can change their life. And I think if you take some of the pressure off of you of having to, having to build this, trying, get rid of that word, to build a team and focus on what you truly, really want, which is what? Financial freedom, to be able to do what you want. And you want to do it by hitting the rank of executive diamond or whatever it is in your company. And if you focus on that, Renata, and if you start to increase your effort, I don't know how long it took you to do those 12 people today, but I would then say to you, okay, great, Renata, how long did that take? Let me just give you two hours, Renata. Maybe it took you two hours. I would then ask you, what'd you do with the rest of your day, Renata? If you have a job. I work full time. You work full time. Okay, great. Not a problem. So <clears throat> then you want to start to manage your activities. If you're working from eight to five, maybe a family, kids, husband, all right. You need to manage your activities, Renata. So if you have two hours per day to devote to your network marketing company, guess what's going to happen when you decide in a year from now that you say oh, you want to reach this rank? You're not going to have a J-O-B. You're going to have full time doing this. So if you have right. two hours a day, five hours per week, that's 10 hours. How many people can you reach in 10 hours per week, Renata? You should be able to reach easily 100 or 200. About, yeah. Right. But so I, this is my issue right now. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What is the issue? That I'm running out of people and I don't know how to find more people. All right. Hang on a second, Renata. Like, don't lose that thought. I had running... a list of like 800 people and I'm like... Okay. Uh, where do you live, Renata? Where do you live? I think I lost you, Renata. Can you put in the chat, where do you live? Which city? I live in Pennsylvania right now, but originally I live in New York. All right, Renata, your internet's real bad, so we're going to- Pennsylvania. Oh, New York City, okay. And New York City. Got it, all right, no problem. So I just will, the internet's a little bit bad, Renata, but I just want to bring right. something to your attention real quick, and then we'll move on and, and work on it with somebody else. But for example, the population in New York City is 8.3 million you people. Got it? All right, I'm going to mute okay. you, Renata, because your internet's not working. We have 8.3 million people in New York. So you, you have pl you're not running out. Use your imagination. Start to think of other ways you can actually find people. All right. And, and also, I want to remind you, Renata and others, if you want to find out more about what we do and how I can help you, Renata, please book a call with Fernanda and myself, okay? 
All right. All right. So we can do a hot seat coaching session. Another one that that kind of happened to be one, even though it was a question. But let's okay. do a hot seat, and then we can um, kind of close things out. Does right. that sound good? Sounds oh, and good. then before we go, we do need to call our uh, winner for absolutely. The contest. Yes. <laughs> so. Um, L.S. has yes. contacted me. Okay. Fire away. Okay, hi. How you doing? Good. Um, yeah, I'm just listening to what you're saying. And, and, you know, that's been my question is where are my people at? And um, I just realized, you know, I got a hold of, I, I write books. And I'm trying to figure out how to make a business out of encouraging people because that's what I'm really good at. <laughs> um, so I do speaking a little bit, um, but I did send my letter off to John Lundgren to try to contact him. And one of the, I had three emails, one came back. I found him on LinkedIn, but everything is blank. He is really does not want to be on social media and stuff. So. We'll see what happens there. Okay. But. Um, All right. What is the I question, guess, Alice? I'm, I just kind of don't, I'll, I've got so many questions. I'll just do one. Um, okay. What do you do when your other half is supporting you, but sometimes sabotages what you're doing? Um, well, I think you just, uh, that sentence alone, LS, says a lot. I, I don't know where support and sabotage can coexist, right? Um, well, like for my podcast, he's trying to get the microphone and the other stuff mm -hmm. that I need for it. He's, he sure. knows electronics, but like mm -hmm. yesterday, he knew I had this meeting and today, yeah. All right. Uh, the things to interrupt, so I couldn't go, but they came anyway. All right. All right. Great question, LS. We'll answer this quickly. One, there's a guy I want to introduce you to. His name is Amazon.com. He has got everything you need for that podcast. That's where I got my mic. <laughs> All right. So there you go. Uh, as far as, and I don't want to uh, get into personal dynamics, LS, but whether it's a spouse or family or friends, what I have found is that when you are get committed to your goal and your dream, LS, people will either come with you or they will not. Now, this is about you, not about him. And so um, if someone is not willing to support you in your dream, then that's okay. You can still love them just the same. But again, 100% responsibility, LS. You make the decision to be here or not, not him. This is your life and this is your movie. And so either you're writing this uh, film by yourself, which is the movie of your life, or, or he's writing it for you. And so you need to write your own, step into your power, step into your greatness, go after what you want, be undeniable and be fully committed. We don't have time for this, right? The, the, the train is leaving. Either get on board or don't. And then you, you have to start to ask yourself some tough questions. What is it that I truly really want? Right? And then surround yourself, you guys, always with like-minded people. One of the great things I love about Fernanda, where no relationship's perfect. We argue sometimes. She's got that Colombian temper. But ultimately, we both are committed to what? Improving ourselves, uh, helping each other improve each other, and actually then impacting and improving the world, which makes it great. And so it, and that's what's possible. Surround yourself, LS, with people who are like-minded, who are going to encourage you and push you to live your greatest life. And I know it's a hard question, right? But because uh, you love your husband, obviously. But there needs to be a conversation about this is what I'm committed and this is what I want to do. And, and you have to focus on your goal and dream. All right. Go ahead, Fernanda. I know we had uh, another one. Chain All right. Let's do, let's do one more. Last one for a hot seat for today. Okay. And then we're going to do the closing remarks. Uh, Channing. Great. Where is Channing? We had a great chat. I'm here. How are you doing, Channing? I'm great. How are you? Great. Um, so hot seat, as far as I find, um, and I love what you said about the brain fog. Is it weird that I have brain fog on days that I don't have a lot going on? Like today was a great day. Nothing weird happened. Mm -hmm. Um, I did hire my first leader today. And awesome. I think a lot of my brain fog is just pre-stressing 
about the steps that I don't have 100% organized out yet, even though I know that they're just going to line up exactly how they're supposed to. Sure. Um, and so do you find that a lot of people struggle with the pre-stress and is that a mental paradigm mm -hmm. trying to hold me back? Uh, yes, yes, and yes, Jenny. It is uh, idle minds what? You'll find yourself pretending that you're busy or you'll fill those, that time with what? Things that are unimportant. Uh, I shared that quote yesterday. I love it, right? We, became, we become enslaved to small acts of trivia if we are not focused on our goal and dream. Now you share with me your big goal and dream. There, there should be no time. And when you manage your activities, I know you have your, your two kids going on, your husband and all these things. With what your vision is for a global empire that you're building, there's, there should be no time where you're not doing stuff, right? Right. And so in those moments, yes, the old paradigms will kick in. Um, you know, Channing, you work so hard, you really deserve these few hours and take... Um, you know, I listened to a friend of mine and she said balance is one of the worst words. She hates it because when you're ignited about your passion and your goal and dream, you, you spend time doing the things you love. So if building your work and your empire is, is your majority of what you want to devote your time to, then do it, but plan your day, plan your activities. Otherwise, yes, you will find in those moments, the brain fog will come back. It is a paradigm. That's like, oh, Channing, it starts again, right? Oh, well, how are you going to pull all this off? And are you going to find the right people? And, you know, you got to get moving and all this noise. It's noise. Mm -hmm. And so make sure that you are planning each day, that you look at your activities. And what I encourage all of our clients to do each, each night, Channing, is review your day. Sometimes it's great to review it in reverse and then look at what you did. Look at your productive activities and your non-productive activities. And then make a shift, make a change, review, rethink. And then ultimately rewrite your goal if it's not in alignment and getting you really excited. And there will be no time. There's no time for fog. Yeah. And on, on the days that it's tougher or that you find yourself in those, is it okay? Like if here's the task that I thought I was going to accomplish today, mm -hmm. and instead I'm going to accomplish these. So I'm still working towards the same goal, but maybe it just is more creative outlet to kind of pull me back out of that. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, work on those paradigms. So one of them is how you creatively use your time. So if you find that you're drawn to do something else creatively, that's spirit, God speaking to you, get out something, write it down and trust your intuition and go with it. Okay. When you're on your goal and dream in that same frequency, uh, chanting the, the, the fog doesn't stand a chance. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and again, you guys, I want to remind you to book a call with us. If you have any questions, if the committee is speaking to you about why you don't, want to take action. Some of you I know are on the fence. Some of you have been sitting there thinking, when is my luck going to change? I want different results, but I don't want to take action. And so book a call with Fernanda myself, or just say enough already. I recognize what's happening. Those paradigms are kicking in. I'm going to bust through the terror barrier and come join us. Let us coach you. Let us work with you for the next six months. Um, anything else, Fernanda? Yes, I have some questions for oh, you. Oh, sure. Okay. Fire away. <laughs> So what if someone is interested in joining, but they don't have the time? What if they're so busy, they have so many things going on in their lives, and they just don't have the time? <clears throat> That's a great question. And I get that all the time. And so I would encourage you one, when you guys get clear on what it is that you want, you have to be committed. You know, ask yourself right now, if you really want, uh, maybe it's an income goal, how committed have you been? How committed have you been? Yeah, it's going to take work. All of our clients, we ask you to commit 45 minutes to an hour a day to doing the things that we know will get you the results that you want. And so it goes back again to Fernanda to, are you willing to do what it takes? Are you willing to get up an hour early? Are you willing to sit and be uncomfortable and let that anxiety, the fear and all that stuff come up and then be willing to take different action, be willing to be coachable, be willing to be accountable. And then are you willing to put in the work? 45 minutes to an hour today will get you. I promise you, if you spend that time doing the things that we teach you to do, you'll get the results you want and you'll see, start to see results in a very short amount of time. So again, commitment and discipline and dedication. Okay. And what if I find that time and I then now don't have the money? Uh, that's, that's another great question that we get all the time. Money should really... Uh, never be an issue. The money doesn't even matter. Fernanda, I tell people money doesn't matter because you haven't made a decision. Make a decision that you want change. 
make a decision that you're going to invest in yourself. Guess what? People always find a way to invest in the cars, the big screen. I don't even know where it is. I put it aside. This thing is $1,500. And so we will always find a way. But Bob used to tell me, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, John, you really deserve to win. Now, I want you to think about your life right now and another how you spend your money right now. And I can guarantee you in six months from now, I always say this to our clients, potential clients, are you going to spend, and all of you know that we charge $7,500 for our coaching program. That price is going up after this weekend. And we have all kinds, of, we've made it extremely affordable for everybody to get involved. We have different payment options. I want you to think about your life. And in the next, in six months from now, will you have spent $7,500 on stuff? Absolutely. But how about investing it in the most important thing in your life, you and your mind, the ability to say, okay, I'm all in because I know that I'm sick and tired of getting the results I've gotten up until now. Enough is enough. It's a wake up call. Let's get moving. It's, it's going to pale in comparison to what you're going to achieve financially, personally, and professionally. And I, adding to that, I, I just want to say money is vibration and energy. And so just by raising your energy, by doing all of the things that we taught you to do this weekend or this weekend, this week, th those things are going to help you raise your energy. And when you raise your energy, you raise your vibration and then you connect with those things that are at a higher vibration, perhaps more income or a better relationship or better health or um, more better friendships and whatnot. So just throwing that out there. No, it's uh, great. Bernice, so real quick. Here. Yes. Uh, Bernice asked a question regarding money. Do you use your own money or other people's money? Great question, Bernice. Do whatever it takes. You know, do whatever it takes. I've had people who have sold, and I, we never encourage people to do this, but they realized that this is the best investment they could make was in themselves because they were sick and tired of not getting the life and the results that they wanted. They've sold their car. They quit their job, six-figure jobs, and within weeks, massive amounts of achievement and success. And so mm -hmm. I always say, do whatever it takes, because I know that we have a system in place that will help you get to where you want to go. Go ahead, Fernanda. Sorry. Leroy says, when you see that it works, you make it a part of your life. You make the time to do the work because you know it works. And that's absolutely true. And so... The last thing that I always hear and uh, actually even came up in my mind when I was speaking to you at the beginning is, how are you different? Why is this different than mm -hmm. anything else out there? Actually, great question, Fernanda. There are, I know there are a lot of amazing coaches out there, you guys. Fantastic people out there teaching stuff. What I like to say is what makes me different and unique is that I believe I am one of the only people on the planet who has been mentored by the two greats. When I talked about what is it that you need to be successful, you need to connect to the right kind of thinking mindset, right? Then you need the right kind of message to yourself and to the world. And then you need a powerful network. So let's go back to the first one, connect to the right kind of thinking. I've been mentored and taught by the absolute best. 60 years, Bob Proctor taught life strategies on human success and potential. None better, none better. Personal friendship and relationship with him. And he taught me how to, think my way into results, and now to share that information with other people. Bob worked with Earl Nightingale, the Earl worked with Napoleon Hill. So you're getting 100 years of information and knowledge, right? There is, you don't need any more information. You need the right information, which is already there, which is what we teach to show you how to apply it to develop the wisdom, to know that you can have whatever you want. Second, the right message. What is it that you want? What do you tell yourself when you wake up every day that you want for your life? And what do you tell the world that you're here to do? There is none better. Then Mr. Les Brown, 40 some years, he's still going strong about helping people wake up to get hungry, right? To their greatness, to find their greatness. You know, Fernanda, how often we speak and he's become a very good friend. I speak to him several times a day. He actually is now my client. So I went from, I mean, what is uh, the signs of a great leader? You have to be first a great follower from having him teach and mentor me to now he's one of our clients. So that's something that I think separates me from other people. And then the third thing that I bring to the table, and I think you'll be hard pressed to find somebody who as, is as good. And I, and I don't say this to brag at all, but it took me decades to actually acknowledge this, that I am one of the best on the planet at helping people develop and build relationships, to build connections. And so now that you have the right thinking, you have the right goal and message, and then you have a powerful network, you're unstoppable. 
You are unstoppable. And that's what we bring. And that's what we offer to all of our clients. And that's what makes us different. And I want to add something else that actually made my personal difference when I was back taking your program. And for I think that it has made a significant difference for most of our clients, if not all, is the fact that you are there for them. You become um, involved with, not, not responsible for their journey, but you're involved in wanting to see the results and believing in the results and you are there every step of the way. It's not a pre-recorded something that they listen to you or it's not like they can never talk to you. They're always, you're always make yourself accessible. They can always ask any questions. There is always opportunity to uh, come in and really have a hot seat session with you or anything else. And so, and the one-on-one -on -one bonus sessions yes. plus <laughs> everything else. And so I think that was probably one of the, the, the things I've done courses before and you don't have that access to the coach. You don't have that. It's very rare. And that's something that you provide. And, and that made a huge difference for me. And I know it makes a huge difference for, for a lot of other people. So. Absolutely. And again, I want to remind you guys, thanks for to take action. You guys are on the fence. Let us help you. Let me show you how to conquer that gap, right? Between where you are now, where you want to go. And so book a call with with Fernanda and myself, or just do what uh, Ann and, and Kimberly did. Take action and let's go. Let's get moving. Success loves speed. I always like to say the universe loves speed, but guess what? So does success. Mm -hmm. And we can share with you the system that we know will get you there. So, all right. So if you look in the chat, you can actually find the page to find out all of the information and everything that's included when you join our program and our community. And then if you have some further questions, you want to get a call on with myself and Fernanda, you can also book a call with us. All right. And uh, I think now, Fernanda, let's kind of bring it home for a landing. I think if you want to share who is the exciting winner of our, our $1,000 coaching program, and I'll let you close the show. I want to thank you personally, uh, Abby, for the amazing job, Pamela, Maya, for all the great work that you uh, do and continue to do every day. I want to thank all of you for showing up. For those of you watching on the replay, I appreciate you. Thank you for taking the time. For those of you over on Facebook as well, thank you. And uh, it's been an amazing three days. We love doing this. We hope you got tremendous value out of this. Take action, get clear on what you want, be undeniable and unstoppable and unlimited in, in what you believe and go and get it. All right. So thank you, everyone. And Fernanda, take it away. Yes. And for everybody that already booked your calls, congratulations on taking action. We cannot wait to talk to you. A couple of things I, that I want to talk about is the first reminder is tomorrow we are going to be back here sharing the million in your results. So if you want to listen to real life testimonials of clients of ours who are changing their lives and changing the world, really connect with us. So that's going to be at 12 o'clock PS or EST, 12 o'clock. And I would love to see all of you there. We're going to be back on Sunday then at 12 o'clock as well. And we're going to be interviewing another one of our amazing clients. She's also killing it. So I cannot wait for you guys to share and with me her space, the, the energy with her. And so that's going to be amazing. Uh, the winner, the winner, winner, winner for the group coaching program, a thousand dollar group coaching program. This is a program that is going to really teach you how to create your six figure group coaching business from scratch, no matter where you are, no matter if you don't know anything about anything, it really teaches you anything. So the winner is going to be Brittany Young. And Brittany, if you can go ahead and maybe bring on your camera. I see you, but I, I see your camera off. Yes, congrats. Let me see if I can. Yay, thank you Yay. so much. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this opportunity, truly. You don't even understand. Thank you so much. No, I am so excited for you. This program is amazing. I want to really, really, really have you take the time to go through it take the opportunity to really, really do everything in it. It's going to make a significant difference. It really gives you all of the, everything, all the information that you need to create a six-figure business. So yes. huge thing. 
absolutely free and the only thing that we ask is just give us feedback what are we doing what did you like how can we improve we're always willing to improve all right absolutely thank right. you we'll so send you much. access after the class congrats Perfect. thank you thank you're you you're very so welcome much. my heart is beating so fast <laughs> <laughs> congratulations thank you i appreciate it all right all right so finalizing just want to remind everybody that we have the replays just for one more week so make sure that you watch the replays if you have any other questions or anything book a call with us please book a call we will be more than happy to talk to you and ask answer any questions and then we will see you tomorrow at noon uh, have a wonderful rest of your evening and i will be connecting with you tomorrow from uh, sedona arizona have a wonderful night, everybody. Bye-bye. And congratulations again, Brittany, and everybody that booked your call. Congratulations again. Have a wonderful night. And thank you all for giving us your time and attention these three days. Bye-bye.